I love riding gravel roads. When you get a really sweeping, beautiful gravel road and you get into a flow on it, it is as fun as anything else on a motorcycle. However, riding gravel roads well is pretty tricky business. It takes a little bit of learning. Welcome to this week's Mini Tip Monday. We're talking five tips for riding gravel roads. My first tip for riding gravel roads, and this isn't something I've seen many people talk about, it's trail braking. The idea of trail braking is that you're dragging the brakes gently into the corner and it comes with a huge amount of benefits. I recently made a much more detailed video about trail braking where we dove into how you do it and what all the benefits are. But when you're riding gravel roads, especially ones where you can't see what's going on, it makes the experience much safer. It allows you to ride a little bit quicker, a little bit more comfortable, and it helps you be precise and get your bike turned, especially when the corners are tighter and you have a lot of quick corners after each other. It's a transformative thing. Once you understand how to trail brake well, it's gonna make the whole experience of riding gravel roads, especially on big adventure bikes, infinitely better than it was. Second tip, following on directly from trail braking, is about body position. When you learn to trail brake well, you already incorporate quite a lot of body movement. You go backwards slightly when you brake, you lean forward slightly to deal with the acceleration coming out of the corner. But when we're in the corner and we're turned and leant over, we have to make sure that our body position and subsequently our weight through the foot pegs is in the right place. We need to increase the grip that's on the contact patch. And when a bike is lent over, all the forces are pushing the tire away. So we need to fix that by putting our weight to the outside and driving down on that contact patch to make it grip on the ground a little bit better. This doesn't have to be an extreme movement, but the other thing that's really important with body position are that parts of your body are all in the right place. Your legs and your hips and your hands on the handlebars all go in the correct position. If you need more information about what good body position looks like, we've made some incredibly detailed how-to videos for standing position when riding off-road, both advanced and beginner level. You should watch those because I don't think there's anything more important for your off-road riding than being in the right position on your bike. Number three on this list is your vision. I think vision, when people talk about it predominantly, it's talked about in a really reductive way. Where you look on the trail is actually incredibly complicated. It's not about looking up as far ahead as you can. It's not about looking at your front wheel. Your vision is a constant dance between trying to take in what's coming and dealing with the problems in front of you. There's nothing wrong with looking down closer to you on the trail to deal with obstacles, but when we ride gravel roads, it's incredibly important that we take in as much of the gravel road as we can as soon as we've dealt with any problems on it. Gravel roads are generally quite quick and you're not alone on them. It's very rare that there is not some other vehicle in the region that you're in, unless you're in the Yukon and there's no one there because there's no one there. When I'm riding a gravel road, the moment that I have dealt with the problem in front of me, the corner, the bump, the pothole, the bit of mud, I like to take in as much of the trail as there is to take in. If it's four kilometers that I can see ahead, I will look all the way to the horizon, take in where the road goes, the angle of the corners coming up, any potential vehicles coming, and then I will come back to where I am and I will repeat that cycle, dealing with the problems, and then looking absolutely all the way to the horizon. I can't stress that enough that when I say look up, I don't mean look 100 meters, I mean look five kilometers if you can. It really makes a big difference to how fast your brain can process things, how overwhelmed you feel when you're riding, and then how tense you feel because you don't know what's coming. You will ride better, you'll enjoy it more, you'll have much better flow on the trail, and it will help with our next point, which is line choice.
Line choice is often talked about as something that's a safety mechanism. You choose your line on gravel roads based on how far around the corner you can see to make it safe, and then everything else comes afterwards. But for me on gravel roads, there's also a really big consideration, and that is the quality of the dirt in which you're riding. Most dirt roads have some form of other four-wheeled vehicles on them. They're not exclusively used by motorcycles, and four-wheeled vehicles are really good at sweeping the gravel off the road. Underneath that swept gravel means you get good, clean, hard dirt, which is nearly as good as tarmac. For me, when you're riding a gravel road, taking that into consideration, choosing exactly where you put your wheels, where you've got the most grip and the most control, is as important as being able to see around the corner. Even though most gravel roads are at least one car wide, sometimes two, sometimes three cars wide, be precise about where you put your wheels. Make sure that they're on a specifically good grip line. Generally with a swept road, you end up with a small patch or sometimes quite a big patch of gravel in between the tire tracks. That is not a good place to ride. It's low grip, it's slippery, it's inconsistent, and it's really hard to ride that stuff well it's quite easy to ride the good grip swept road well. So make your life easy, choose the good line. Don't disregard the safety aspect of looking around the corner and maybe putting your bike a little bit wider on the entrance to blind corners so you can see around it, but don't put that over and above making sure you get around that corner safely and in control. If you're riding in deep gravel or loose gravel and a car comes the other way, chances are you can't do anything about it anyway. So there was no point in knowing it was there. Choose your line according to the ground as much as what you can see. The last part of that consideration with line choice is that sometimes the car tracks don't follow the best line for a motorcycle, provided you can see the nicest line when you're riding a gravel road is to go inside, outside, inside, much like you would on a MotoGP track or any other kind of track. That flowing line is really nice to ride and it's really enjoyable as long as you can see. However, there's a couple of considerations within that. One, don't cross that center line between the car tracks when you're lent over in a corner. Wait till you're almost straight, change and so on and so forth. The bigger that mound is or the softer that gravel is, the more you need to be careful with that. That process also works much better if you're trail braking into those corners. My last tip, and this is not something I've seen a lot of people talk about with gravel roads or adventure bikes, and that is to use the gearbox and the torque of a big engine to your advantage by being in a really tall gear. You'll find that when you practice this, being in a tall gear smooths out the ride massively. When you're in a high gear, your throttle movements are subtle. When you come on the gas, the bike doesn't change much. It doesn't accelerate hard. When you come off the gas, the response is much smoother and you don't transfer loads of weight to the front wheel suddenly. It doesn't affect your body position as much. And the suspension of all motorbikes responds better when the revs are lower. The springs bind up less, it works better, it becomes much easier to roll through the corners to carry a nice smooth line. And you'll find that when you ride in this way, you end up in, with much more of a flow on a gravel road than when you're aggressive and you're in a low gear and you're revving it hard. It's a much better way to do it. It doesn't mean that you can't, if you want to, go into corner sideways, rev them really hard and do power slides, but for general gravel riding, for covering distance, for enjoying the flow of those gravel roads, get it in the tall gear and use the torque. It is much nicer, especially if you're on a GS. Just ride around in fourth gear, basically. That's it, those are my five tips for riding gravel roads better, for getting into a bit more of a flow with them and learning to enjoy them and cover some distance in a really fun and flowy way. When you start to understand how they work and learn how the corners work and learn to get your bike around them well, they are super enjoyable. I don't think there's anything on an adventure bike quite the same as riding a sweeping, tight, twisty gravel road in a really, really efficient, enjoyable way. It's a super good experience. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more Mini Tip Mondays, you're watching this on YouTube, 
This series is predominantly shown on our Patreon channel. On our Patreon, we show Mini Tip Monday in a seasonal format of 10 episodes at a time that all kind of link together, followed by a podcast series that follows the same format. We do that repeating throughout the year, and it's really, really good. It's a great community. We have some really good conversations about writing technique on there. And if you're interested in that and you want to see more, click the link in the description below. We also have an online shop where we sell fantastic things like riding kits and really unique tools for your toolkit, casual clothing that's adventure bike themed and lots of parts from our project bikes such as graphics kits and amazing headlights and so on. You can also find the link for that in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these, click that subscribe button and remember, life's better when you're riding.